The Martin 156, also known as the Russian Clipper, Moscow Clipper, or Soviet Clipper, was a large four-engine flying boat developed by the Glenn L. Martin Company in the mid-1930s as an advanced successor to the Martin 130. Pan American Airways commissioned a design for a long-range trans-Pacific airliner to serve routes from San Francisco to Hong Kong. The aircraft retained the M-130's hull length but featured a wingspan increased by 27 feet 8.2 meters, flaps for improved control, a raised tailplane with twin fins, and fuel capacity expanded from 3,165 to 4,260 gallons 11,981 to 16,126 liters. It was powered by four Wright Cyclone GR-1820 G2 radial engines, producing 1,000 horsepower each. Configured for either 26 berths or 33 to 56 day seats, it was designed for long oceanic flights with stops at Midway, Wake, Guam, and Manila. Pan Am ultimately selected the Boeing 314, leaving the Martin 156 without a United States operator. In 1936, the Soviet Union, seeking to modernize its aviation industry, signed a contract with Martin via Amtorg to acquire the prototype, full engineering documentation, and a license for domestic production. The deal cost over one million a large sum at the time and included blueprints, metric conversions, and specialized equipment. By late 1937, the aircraft, registered X-19167, was flight tested in Baltimore and shipped to Leningrad in early 1938. Plans to mass-produce the aircraft as a long-range maritime bomber stalled. Soviet designers considered fitting internal bomb bays, multiple gun turrets, and heavy defensive armament, but redesign costs, infrastructure challenges, and freezing seas made the concept impractical. Political purges further halted the program, purchased parts were scrapped, and the second airframe kit was likely abandoned. The prototype, designated PS-30 in Aeroflot service, flew from Moscow in 1938 and entered Far Eastern operations in 1940. It connected Khabarovsk and Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, carrying up to 70 passengers. Maintenance difficulties, scarce spare parts, and worn American engines reduced flight hours. By 1943, Soviet-built S-62IR engines replaced the original Cyclones, extending its operational life. The PS-30 flew sporadically through 1944, supporting military transport missions during World War II, including evacuations of American air crews interned in the USSR. In 1945, the aircraft was officially retired, stored in Khabarovsk, and scrapped in 1946. The Martin 156 remained a unique aircraft, never mass-produced, but symbolizing Soviet ambitions to leap ahead in aviation technology through foreign procurement. It was the largest and most advanced flying boat ever operated in the USSR at the time, a rare American design that briefly bridged continents during an era of rapid aeronautical development.